After a summer lull with loosened restrictions, COVID-19 cases in BC have shot up in recent weeks, and the virus is now spreading faster in Alberta than it did during the peak of the province's third wave. Those early warning signs come as Delta is taking over countrywide, rising from less than 10% of Canadian variant cases sequenced in early May to more than 70% by early July. We know that where the Delta variant is identified, it really rapidly takes off and spreads between people more efficiently. One study from a team in Japan found the Delta variant may be more infectious because of mutations on its spike protein, a feature found on the surface of the virus that helps it gain access to our cells. Something about the mutation has changed the shape or a feature on that spike protein that makes it fit a bit better. As a result, you need fewer viruses present to achieve infection. And new research shows just how much more dangerous Delta really is. Researchers in China found people infected with the variant carry a thousand times more virus in their nose compared to the original strain, and they test positive a couple days faster. The findings all suggest this variant replicates at a quicker pace, meaning infected people shed more of it in their day-to-day lives. The good news is leading vaccines seem to ward off severe illness, even from Delta. But with less than 6 in 10 Canadians fully vaccinated, millions remain at risk. It's going to find sort of the pockets of the unvaccinated people and no, nowhere is really probably going to be immune per se. There's hope rising vaccination rates means Canada will avoid the worst of another wave. Medical experts also say since we're facing a tougher enemy, we need to keep up tougher precautions like mask wearing a little bit longer. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Toronto.